同学们好，今天我们来学习第四十一课 ，Lesson Forty One, Penny's Bag。今天我们将看到的呢是 Penny 购物的成果，一起来看看她都买了些什么。好，请看课文，并且回答这样一个具体的问题 ：Who is the tin of tobacco for？ 那罐烟丝是买给谁的 ？Is that bag heavy, Penny? Not very. Here, put it on this chair. What's in it? A piece of cheese, a loaf of bread, a bar of soap, a bar of chocolate, a bottle of milk, a pound of sugar, half a pound of coffee, a quarter of a pound of tea, and a tin of tobacco. Is that tin of tobacco for me? Well, it's certainly not for me. 好，现在你能回答这个问题了吗 ？Who is the tin of tobacco for? Well, it's certainly not for Penny. It's for Sam. 那罐烟丝当然不是买给 Penny 自己的，而是买给 Sam 的。你答对了吗？好，下面我们一起来看本课中的关键词和词组，请跟我读。Keywords and expressions. Cheese. Bread, soap, chocolate, sugar, coffee, tea, tobacco. These words are mostly related to food, and are very useful in everyday life. Let's look at the main points of the lesson. Is that bag heavy, Penny? Not very. 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 Not very 是一种省略的说法，在口语中常用。如果把它说全了，那么就是 It's not very heavy. Sam 说 ，Here, put it on this chair. 放在这儿吧，把它放在这张椅子上。然后他又非常的关心包里到底有什么。他是怎么问的呢 ？What's in it? It 是一个代词，代替的是 that bag. 相当于问 What's in that bag? 用 What 后面加上一个介词短语，来询问什么地方有什么东西。比如说，桌子上有什么 ？What's on the table? 窗前有什么 ？What's in front of the window? 好，那么 Penny 到底买了些什么呢？我们一起来看。A piece of cheese. Cheese 乳酪，它是一个不可数名词。所以要用一个相当于汉语中量词的东西来和它连用，一块乳酪，我们要说 a piece of cheese。piece 还可以形容其他的一些不可数名词，比如说 a piece of paper， 一张纸。a loaf of bread， 一块面包。如果我们想说一片面包，应该怎么表达呢 ？a piece of bread， or A slice of bread. 西方人非常喜欢吃的黄油面包是这样说的 ：bread and butter. 来看下一件东西 ：a bowl of soap. 一块肥皂。Soap 是不可数名词，所以说一块肥皂不能够说 a soap， 而要说 a bowl of soap。有一个词的拼写和 soap 很像，那就是。Soup, soup 的意思是汤，所以你在请别人喝汤的时候，千万不要说成 soup。下一件东西 ，a bowl of chocolate， 一块巧克力。在这两句话当中 ，bowl 的意思都是块儿、条。bowl 还有一个意思在生活中非常的常用，那就是酒吧。Cheese, bread, soap. Chocolate 都是不可数名词。如果你有两块奶酪、三个面包，那么怎么表达呢？对了，我们要把前面的 peas 和 loaf 变成复数，后面的不可数名词的形式是不变的。两块奶酪 ，two pieces of cheese； 三个面包 ，three loaves of bread； 四块香皂 ，four bars of soap； 五块巧克力。Five bars of chocolate.
Tommy 还买了什么呢？他买了一瓶牛奶 ，a bottle of milk。如果你想说一杯牛奶 ，a glass of milk。A pound of sugar, 一磅糖。在这句话当中 ，pound 是一个重量单位，表示一磅。那么 pound 作为货币单位的时候呢，它的意思是英镑。Half a pound of coffee, 半磅咖啡。Half 表示一半，比如说半瓶牛奶 ，half a bottle of milk。A quarter of a pound of tea, 四分之一磅的茶 A quarter of 表示四分之一 A quarter of a mile, 四分之一英里 And a tin of tobacco, 还有一罐烟丝 Milk, sugar, coffee, tea, and tobacco, 这些都是不可数名词。从刚才课文中的主要语言点，我们可以看出，我们今天学习的主要是不可数名词。那我们就一起来看看基本句型。Is there any？ 对于不可数名词的提问，我们要用单数的动词 is 来看一组例句。Is there any milk in that bottle？ 那个瓶子里有牛奶吗？在疑问句当中用的是。Any 这个词 ，There's some milk in that bottle. 那个瓶子里有一些牛奶。在陈述句当中用的是 some 这个代词。There isn't any milk in that bottle. 那个瓶子里没有牛奶。在否定句当中呢，用的是 any。好，我们来复习一下在前面提到的对于可数名词单数的提问。Is there a Is there a book on that desk? 书桌上有书吗 ？Book 是一个可数名词，在它的单数前面要加上不定冠词 a。There is a book on that desk. 那个书桌上有一本书。There isn't a book on that desk. 那个书桌上没有书。在看完基本句型之后，我们再来看一遍课文。请大家注意不可数名词的应用。Is that bag heavy, Penny? Not very. Here, put it on this chair. What's in it? A piece of cheese, a loaf of bread, a bar of soap, a bar of chocolate, a bottle of milk, a pound of sugar, half a pound of coffee. A quarter of a pound of tea, and a tin of tobacco. Is that tin of tobacco for me? Well, it's certainly not for me. 好，下面我们进入下一课的学习，来比较一下可数名词的单数和不可数名词。Lesson forty-two. Is there a in or on that? Is there any in or on that? Passport， 在做这个练习的时候，我们首先要判断图中的词是可数名词还是不可数名词。如果它是不可数名词，我们要用 Is there any 来提问；如果它是可数名词，我们就用 Is there a 来提问。那么 ，passport 是可数名词还是不可数名词呢 ？Is there a passport on the table? Yes, there is. Milk. Is there any milk in that bottle? Yes, there is. Spoon. Is there a spoon on that plate? Yes, there is. Tie. Is there a tie on that chair? Yes, there is. Bread. Is there any bread here? Yes, there is. 
there is some on the table. 在这句话当中 ，some 代替的是 some bread. Hammer. Is there a hammer here? Yes, there is. There is one on the bookcase. 因为 hammer 是一个可数名词，所以 one 代替的是 a hammer. Tea. Is there any tea here? Yes, there is. There is some on the table. Vase. Is there a vase here? Yes, there is. There is one on the radio. Suit. Is there a dress in the wardrobe? No, there isn't a dress. There is a suit. Tobacco. Is there any tea in the tin? No, there isn't any tea. There is some tobacco. Chocolate. Is there any sugar on the desk? No, there isn't any sugar. There is some chocolate. Cheese. Is there any bread on the plate? No, there isn't any bread. There is some cheese. Newspaper. Is there a newspaper on the television? Yes, there is one on the television. Car. Is there a car on the bridge? Yes, there is one on the bridge. Soap. Is there any soap on the dressing table? Yes, there is some on the dressing table. Bird. Is there a bird on the tree? Yes, there is one on the tree. 在这个教学单元中，我们学习了不可数名词，并且把它和可数名词的单数进行了比较。不可数名词的前面不能直接加冠词 a 或者 an， 但是可以加上一个短语，类似于汉语中的量词来修饰它。比如说 ，a piece of。A bar of, a pound of, 等等。好，请大家在课后多练习。今天的课就到这儿了。Thank you and goodbye.